All right, it is Friday, July 8th. So I'm gonna clean up the shop a little bit and then I am going to pull all the rear end stuff out that I use for the mock-up, like that three inch bar, uh, the wheels and tires. Um, get that out of the way and then we'll set the rear end in there and see how close we are. I have a feeling we may have to trim that lower brace uh, but stay tuned going on time lapse now and uh let me get this place cleaned up All right, shop's cleaned up. I'm gonna show you the rear end. I think I showed it a little bit when I picked it up from Kelly, but we'll talk about what we have here. So this is the original 8.8 .8 out of my box. As you guys seen, or I probably already talked about it. I cut the ears off this thing. Uh, Kelly Black GT uh, added these Team Z front braces and then the lower brace uh, fitting for the vent and then the strange nine inch ends um, is a nine inch better 100 uh, percent will i break this don't know maybe can i afford a nine inch no i cannot so for the time being this is what's going in the car um, 373 gear, strange spool, um, 35 spline axles. So what we'll do, uh, get the car up just a little bit. I'll get the wheels off. Hard to do because my shoulder's messed up, so I, it's hard to work over my head. Um, so I'll get the wheels off, and then uh, I'll disassemble all the stuff in the rear end, and then we'll set this bad boy up there. Got the rear end set up in there and gonna have a few issues. The first being that the bottom brace is too long. And like, I don't know if I discussed it before on one of the other videos, but definitely gonna interfere with the uh, spring purchase. So that's gonna be issue number one. Issue number two is the front braces may be in the way. It just depends on where the, um, where the, purchase land might be okay I don't know we we will see there and then the other issue I'm having or that I'm not sure yet if this is correct or not is I've got the end pretty much um, to where there's equal lengths hanging off of the leaf springs but that makes the pinion not exactly in the center of the car so I'm not sure if that's correct or not um, I hit up Kelly to see what he had to say and I will obviously have to find that out if the pinion is supposed to be dead center uh, in the car then one of these tubes or both are going to have to be reworked with the uh with the axle tube so i don't even know if kelly can cut those suckers off or or if i'm going to have to i don't know i don't know what's i don't know um but let me spin the camera around and show you guys all right so as you can see um, lower brace way too long so I don't know if it's gonna be better to like weld a plate here like figure out where the spring perch is gonna go weld a, a plate so that they, these two don't move from each other and then cut this off and then when I put my spring per perch in um, weld all that stuff to the spring perch if that's even an option that may not even be an option because um, if you look at this bad boy so if you can envision uh, this being here, um, you 
know, if I move this into here, obviously this bar is gonna hang down too low um, and that's not gonna work. So um, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, so I got about that much hanging off each side, that's about five inches, but get underneath the car and look, I don't have a flashlight. If you get underneath the car and look, the pinion is not exactly centered in the car. Um, it's off to that side, that way. So I'm not sure if that's correct or not. I'm gonna have to get that sorted out. Before I do anything, um, I'm a little nervous cutting that bottom brace off. You know, I don't know if it could be, if the brace could be cut, trimmed. I don't know if we can heat it up or, I really don't know what's gonna happen there. Um, so, next couple days, uh, I gotta get my, my butt in bed. It's about 9.30. I gotta get in bed. I got a video that's getting ready to drop tonight on the 8th too, so I gotta go in there and check the status of that. But uh, throughout the week or weekend or whatever, next few days, uh, I will, get this figured out and we'll get back to you guys what is up it is Tuesday the 13th and I've had some time to evaluate my rear end and we have a problem so whether this is uh, my fault or the guy I had shorten this rear end uh, it's off uh, the pinion is not centered in the car and one of the axles is I think an inch longer than the other so I went round and round and round, talked to a lot of people, got some good advice from Falkhauser about how this should be and blah, blah, blah. He did recommend me get an Explorer rear end then maybe start over, but um, I don't know if that's what I need to do or not. The Explorer obviously has stouter tubes, so in theory it should be stronger, but Nonetheless, um, I think what I'm gonna try to do is cut the bottom brace off this rear end, see if I can get the spring uh, perches to sit on the rear end. I, those might even uh, not be able to go on because of where the front brace is at and where it's welded. But I'm going to get the bottom brace off, see if I can get it in there, and then see if we maybe lose be losing uh, like one inch off of the driver's side I believe but we're gonna get it up in here and see what we got before we decide to go get a whole nother rear end and start over with having it shortened now if it can be shortened and and that's that um, we'll have I mean I had to order good wheels to race the car anyways the jegs ones were just going to be for going from track to track so i didn't screw up the nice ones but you know we may have to run some spacers or something to um go from track to track uh so we'll, we'll just see i'll get you on a time lapse while i cut the brace off and then we'll talk about what we got got that chopped off ground down uh, now we'll get it back up in there and see if we can get the spring perches on it so I'll catch back up with you when it's in there all right we got this bad boy back up in there and we're gonna have to cut the front brace off too um, no way you're gonna get u-bolts on this deal with where the front brace is at so another another wasted product here let me show you what we got going on 
All right, so if I get the pinion in the center of the car, now that might not be exactly center, but it's as close as I can get it because, well, number one, the bracket is hitting, so it won't let me slide it and get this uh, pinion exactly in the center. But two, uh, yeah, this thing's completely in the way. Um, like with where your U-bolts would go around. So you'd probably be okay here. You're never gonna get one here. So I'm gonna have to pull the rear end back down, uh, unbolt those front, the front brace, and then completely cut off those other brackets. Um, I believe when Team Z sent me this, I believe they sent me, maybe this was a premonition, but I believe they sent me extra brackets here. I don't know if they just sent me two. No, so they sent me, let's see. Yeah, I've got, I've got brackets, so um, I can cut them off and I've got new brackets. However, the issue is going to be that uh, the, rod is already welded up so so with the rod being welded up the only way to shorten it is going to be to try and cut here with the death wheel and then shorten these things or something um, but I'll, I'll get the rim back down and cut that stuff off okay front brace has been cut off uh, now let me show you what the issue is so hopefully i don't wash this out but um so basically if we go from the spring perch out to the end of the axle we got five and a quarter there and five and a quarter there now what that does is when you come over on this side and you look down the tunnel, that pinion is off one inch that way. Now in order to center that pinion and move it one inch that way, because eight eighths are offset one inch. So if anybody else is doing this, you got to know that an eight eight we're in is offset one inch. And you got to know whether your drive line is in the center of the car or offset, depending on what you're doing. My car, the drive line and the engine, everything is in the center in this car. So in order to get that bad boy in the center, this got to go over one inch and I'll show you what happens when we do that. All right, I have moved the rear end over one inch that way. Pinion is now centered in the car. This is not 100% exact because I need to find center and put a plumb bob for this video you see that you guys can see what i'm talking about so the pinions in the center now we come out here and we got four and a quarter inches hanging out on this side and six and a quarter on this side so this side actually needs to lose two inches to be the same as the passenger side and keep the pinion in the center. So I've got to do some math. I had this thing set up to where uh, total flange to flange at 51 inches would accommodate these 1510 uh, wheels with a five and a half inch backspace. But if this were in loses two inches, Right now it's at 45, so if it goes to 43, I've got to figure out what the offset is if I'm going to order new um, wheels for the back. And then figure out what I'm going to do as far as if I'm going to try to run these on the street. I may, that may not happen. I may have to just order a set of wheels for the back, get them in, get them on if I'm going to save this rear end, and then maybe look for... Uh, later down the line, maybe some welds or something on a marketplace that I can just throw some radials on. I don't think these five and a half inch backspace are going to work. 
So that is where we're at. Uh, I'm going to stop for tonight because I really don't have anything else to do. Kelly said he's going to come look and see what we got going on. Um, that way we get on the same page. I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're going to do this, um, make sure you get all your math figured out and all that stuff. Um, I thought I was clear with what I wanted and you know now look at the problems that I've got. So I'm not blaming anybody for this but myself. I uh, should have paid a little more attention to detail, but hey, let's be honest. Uh, when you take something to somebody and a lot of times it's easy just to go, yeah, hey, you do it and, and, and you don't wanna worry about it, you know? I mean, it's gonna be the same deal when I take the car for uh, the cage. You know, you wanna drop it off and just not even worry about it. So um, maybe we'll catch back up when Kelly is out of town. So maybe we'll catch back up when he's here. Um, I gotta just sit down and figure out math because um, like Kelly told me, the axle sits out, the, we're gonna put strange axles in it. The axle sits out two and a half inches. Uh, the brake hat for the TBM brakes is 380 thousandths per side. And then I wanted to run like a quarter inch spacer I wanted to, um, just to make it a little easier to get the wheel in and out of this this deal, just because uh, how the wheel well is on these cars, it's it's uh, scalloped. So I guess before I can figure out what I'm gonna do next, I really need to go sit down with uh, some paper, grab some freaking measurements, and figure out um, if this rear is even gonna work or not. If, if it doesn't, then we're back to the drawing board uh, this time we'll do an Explorer we're in and we won't mess with the Fox stuff. Um, but it's just hard to eat, you know, like there's potentially, I mean, the front brace can probably be, can be saved because I've got what I need, but you know, that bottom brace, that's some money down the drain. So I, I ain't rich. I, I don't have the funds to just, um, you know, uh, do stuff like this and, and like, oh, well, hey, there went there went the money i mean every penny i spend on this i'm working my butt off to make it happen so uh, with that all being said uh we will catch back up with you guys probably when kelly gets here um we may catch back up tomorrow like if i come home from work and i got a wild hair um may start putting in like the tubs the rear rear wheel tubs or something like that i've got to get some forward progress on this car going um maybe we'll do some better work i don't know there's just there's a million things to do to this car but i want to be right and i'm trying to do the best i can do with the funds i have the friends and the knowledge that i have so i will catch back up with you guys the next time i see you <laughs>
uh, in short order it'll have rubber in there and it ain't gonna matter anyways. Now, uh, let me show you. All right, so um, I'll show you the panel that I cut out. Uh, my freaking scapula back here has been bothering me. I don't know if that's from the wreck or what, but uh, I've got this panel cut out, came out here after work one night for about 30 minutes and cut this piece out so that I can start making my new piece. Um, so let me show you what we have here. Okay, so obviously I've got to make a filler panel to go in between here so I can get them married back together. And obviously tin work here to get that sealed up, but I've cut the rest of that panel out. And so basically all I'm going to do is I'll make it to where it butts nice with this one. We're going to go up to about there and we're going to put a 90 degree bend in it. And then once the rear end is in this car and we can make sure that that rear end is not going to hit any of my anti roll bar stuff when the suspension works, then I'll make um, the next panel and it'll go up and over that anti roll bar and down. And then in this area over here, which is where I plan in here to have my fuel tank. So just some tedious stuff. It's going to take time. Lots of little uh, filler panels. But I, I think my goal is, uh, I'm trying to get Kelly to come back, or to come over here, he was gone on vacation. I'm trying to get him to come back over here, take a look at this rend. Um, I did math the other night, and it looks like the only option is to basically try and get that end off, that nine inch end, and weld the new one on, and then the rend's gonna end up being two inches shorter than it was, which is okay, I should be able to compensate for that with a different backspace. So right now it was on five and a half inch backspace, 15 by 10 wheel. I'm gonna have to go to 15 inch wheel by 10 with four and a half inch backspace. That should make up the inch on either side. And it may even make it easier to get the tire on and off, to be honest with you, because the axle will be in, or the flange will be in further. So it may be, may be easier. So I'm waiting to see if Kelly will come over and check this out. If we can get him to get this other end on and have this sucker centered in the car, um, then we can think about redoing the bottom brace and the front braces like I talked about earlier in the video. But uh, like, like you were watching, I'm just gonna uh, see if I can get all these tubs kind of tacked in back into the car. And uh, it looks like I got some rust I need to try and fix over here on the on the driver's side, I don't even know if I'll be able to fix that. It's pretty dang rough. So I'm obviously talking about right in that corner. Quite a bit of rust right there. Um, that thing that you see right there, those were on both sides and it's basically where the body and that lower uh, balance or lower rocker panel piece come together. It had a piece of metal around that. Um, I'm gonna massage that all flat and, and get a flat piece of metal back in there. I cut that out just to make sure that the tire wasn't going to hit it. Um, no Barrett Jackson car here, so it really didn't matter to me. Um, so, follow along. Uh, I've got about another 30 minutes out here. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to do. I may throw this other fender, inner fender in and just kind of see where I'm at, see what it looks like, and then go in, go to the barbecue, and I'll either pick back up tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. Friday the 22nd, July. Update on the MRI, gotta have surgery. I guess the good part is he says it's atheroscopic, hour to two hour procedure. Basically said I destroyed everything that uh, holds the shoulder in place, fractured the ball on my arm that goes into the socket. So it's gonna need surgery. And then like uh, probably three weeks of, uh, or correction, three months of light duty type work. Nothing strenuous with physical therapy. <laughs> Not what I need right now for this little car. So they say I have Kaiser insurance and they say that he's like three weeks, four weeks before I can get the uh, pre-operative post-op or whatever you call it interview and then we go from there. So maybe about a month I have so I'm gonna try to get as much done on this little car as I can in that time. 
I'm out here tonight for a few hours. I'm gonna show you what we're cooking with as far as the inner wheelhouses go. Um, Kelly Black GT came here Wednesday, I believe. And we sorted out the rear end. He's gonna lop two inches off the driver's side. That leaves the pinion in the center. It is gonna make the rear end one inch shorter on each side. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about these back wheels, change them, I don't know. For whatever reason, these Jexer type wheels, they don't make a four and a half inch backspace with a five on four pattern. No clue why. Um, they make it in the Chevy, four and three quarter pattern. They make it a four and a half backspace, but not the Ford pattern or the Mopar pattern. So uh, they make those other ones, uh, the ones that are real lines and shit going everywhere. So that's an option two, or the options to run a spacer. Kind of a little nervous about running a spacer with towing. Um, but I'm gonna cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now, my goal is to get this inner wheelhouse, get all this stuff tacked in, fabricated, tacked in, um, and then I can start on the little panel that's gonna come up to the anti-roll bar, and then hopefully Kelly is done with the rear end and we can get the downlink arms and all that stuff all mocked up and then um, go from there and I can build the the panel that's gonna go over that. Kelly's got a little bender, um, sheet metal brake. He says I can do a couple bends on, so I may take him up on that offer. Everything else I've done on this car has been with no brake. That's why the lines aren't exactly straight, but um, don't have to be perfect. You ain't, you ain't gonna see this with carpet in it. But uh, we'll get the car up in the air, kind of show you what I got going here with these uh, or what my plan is with the inner wheelhouses and we'll get all that stuff cranking um, and then go from there. What I'm going to try to accomplish this evening is we'll get those little um, supports or whatever you want to call them. We'll get those back in. I'm also going to weld the back of that deal, uh, the inner wheelhouse. It'll also be welded on the inside, like where the trunk's at, but to just help give it a little bit of stability, help us uh, install it a little bit easier. So I guess my goal for tonight is to get maybe both of those little brackets welded or tacked in, at least tacked in. And then we'll work on maybe cutting out the strips and then bending those uh, bending those strips. Man, this damn dog, uh, if you want something destroyed, leave it out. Anything she can get her hands on, she destroys. She's chewing on this box right here that I was gonna use for some templates. And the puppy life is tough. So, probably get you going on a time lapse. I'm gonna get some music cranking and uh, see where we can make that. Shoot, I was on a good track and you know they say measure 85 times and cut once well I didn't measure correctly so let me show you what I'm trying to do here so that panel that you see me make th this is kind of the idea that I've got right so I want the fender to lay down in this and then this other fender lay down in here and I will put spot welds in here and maybe on the back side and some body work. But what I did wrong, this is about like, I don't know, four, 
roughly four inches, maybe a little more. Well, you need it to be four inches with a half inch overhang so that you can make your little panel channel thing here for this to lay in. So I'm gonna have to start over and remake this panel and redo all the stuff, you know, the stuff you see me do, all this stuff. All right, I got these things cut out, remeasured and cut out. Now I'm gonna mark them real quick and then I'll knock a hole. I don't know if I showed this tool or not, but it's at Harbor Freight. I'll put a link in the description. I got one, eight million holes. Let's see what it looks like in the car. My damn shoulder and it's a freaking mess uh, I should have freaking split the fender at the seam I think back when I cut this apart rather than doing whatever I did just cuz I've got a nice ledge here but then it's gonna disappear if I would have just split the tub might have been better but uh whatever so I'm gonna get this this side in first a couple of Clecos and then we'll go from there all right uh, I'm having a little bit of issues making sure that this is flush and then we're good all the way here but it is uh, almost 11 o'clock you can't see that but it says 1035 so I'm gonna go in for tonight. I gotta be up at four o'clock and uh, get back out here tomorrow on Saturday and mess with it some more. What up, what up? It is Saturday evening now, about 9.40 in the evening. And uh, so came home from work and just worked, didn't even put the phone on to record. But I'm going to flip it around, show you what I've got here, and then uh, we'll complete the rest on the next video. So let me show what we got. Alright, so I've got my little panel in here. Um, in the next video, I'll make these little panels that are going to go here so we can seal this bad boy up. And over here on the driver's side I've got this one in as well all the way around and I'll show you what it looks like from up here so and this is what it looks like up here Get my butt up here. I may have to, uh, I'm real close to that channel that I made. I'm real close, so this may, this little house may need a little bit of trimming to make it, uh, somewhat flush. There's gonna have to be body work in there, I'm sure. 
but that's what they look like. Really hard to see because unless I get on a big ass ladder. But um, still got some massaging and some metal working to do. But we're uh, we'll, we will work on all this stuff on the next video. Getting all that sealed up. I wish I had more Clecos. I don't remember what kit I got off of. Uh, I don't know if I got it on Summit or Amazon, but I'm out of Clecos. And I like holding everything in place with those things when I'm gonna start tacking. So I may hop on Amazon this evening before bed and order some more 316s Clecos. And if I can get them in a day or so, I may tack all these things in on the next video as well. Probably will do that. Um, I'm not gonna obviously finish that on this video, but we'll get the little panels done, get this all just tacked in, and then I'll wait till we get the rim back from Kelly, get it back in, get wheels and tires on the back before we go ahead and burn all of it in. So that'll do it for this video, you guys. I will try to get another video out next week, so um, stay tuned. We'll check you on the next one.